Good evening guys, my name is Ada Burdiv and today we are going to continue on main menu for Unity 3D. In the last tutorial we learned how to make the most basic um, menu with the play button and a quit button. And today we're going to create a pop-up windows for both play and the settings window. Uh, we already have the project open and we also have a mono develop open. Alright, with the, our script of main menu. Next thing we're going to do, um, I want to add a third button called settings. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, move quit button to different position, which is go should be a negative 150. Then we're going to uh, copy, duplicate basically either of these buttons, so we can do with play. So it's going to be control C and control V. So copy and paste. Then we're going to change the y axis of this um, duplicated copy to negative 75. So it's going to be in the middle. Then we're going to rename this to settings or options. Now, this is done. What we're going to do next is we are going to create a new UI image, image property. And we're going to call this um, play window. And you'll see why uh, pretty soon. For the size, we're probably going to do this. Let's change the color real quick so we can actually see where the fuck it is. For the size wise, we can do, let's do 300. That works for me. And uh, for, for the width. And for the height, we can do. Um, Actually, for the width, let's do 400 or 450. That's good. And for the height, we can leave it as is. Uh, 350 looks better. All right, this is a play window, right? We're gonna, let's see, let's put color back to white and add outline or shadow component. So it just can gives us um, the edges for this UI. And you know we don't need a sprite because it's going to be simple as fuck. Uh, let's do the height bigger so we're not going to see this button on the bottom which is quit. 360 works. Um, we're going to disable the game object for now. We're going to duplicate it. We call this one settings. And enable it back. Looks good. Let's get back to play window. Uh, actually, we're going to go back to the script. And what we're going to do is, um, since we already have a start game method to load the level, as we did in a previous um, tutorial, we're going to scratch that. And what we're going to do is, we're going to do public game object. Uh, we're going to call it play window. And we're going to do another public game object settings window. Okay. We're going to save this. Go back to Unity. We're going to back to the main menu manager that we created yesterday. And we are going to drag play window to play window property and play settings to play settings property. Next thing we're going to do is go to public voice our game. We're gonna get rid of this since we don't need this um, for this tutorial. And we are going to do to type play window, the game object we just create we created and typed. Set active to true. Then we're gonna create another new method method called public void settings. Actually let's do game settings and we're going to say settings window set active true okay now we are going to go back to unity let it um, load up the script and update it we're going to click those settings uh, since we had to duplicate this we're going to change the on click um, to game settings 
and now we're gonna test this. So what should happen when we place play? Um, play window should um, activate or enable, I shall say, and display this box. And since we're testing, let's change the background of this to this, for example, just so we kind of can differentiate between window settings for the play for the play window and for the play settings. We're gonna save it all. Press play. Now press actual play button. Now have this box, but we cannot do anything about it. So we're gonna restart this and make sure settings window works, and it does. Okay, from here, what we're gonna do next? Uh, let's create a close button for both window for the play window and for the settings window. So we're gonna enable the play window game object. We're gonna right click on play window game object UI button. From here, we're gonna call this button close or quit. Close works for me. We're gonna resize it to probably 120 and 35. 30 looks good for me. For the anchor, we're gonna set to the button, bottom one. So we're gonna hold Shift and L together at the same time. Click here. And we're gonna adjust the Y axis to put it higher. So let's say 10. We're gonna disable this for now. Enable this game object and do the same thing. One twenty thirty. Actually, we're gonna call save for the settings because that's a saving property. Uh, that was a wrong call, so we're gonna click back to button. It looks good to me. The next thing we are going to do, we're gonna disable this for now. We're gonna go open the script, and we are going to do create a new method called, uh, for example, close game window. And another one, public void, close settings window. This is gonna be easy as fuck. We're gonna just, um, in this one we're gonna do play window, set active to false. And for the settings window, we're gonna do settings window, set active, false. Save the script, go back to Unity 3D. Uh, we're gonna select both of these buttons. We're going to press on click plus and drag the main menu manager. Now we're gonna go to button close of a play window. Select the our script and do close game window for this one and close settings window for that one. Now we're gonna test this and it should work. Uh, let me change the color of this back to white since it should all work and we can differentiate between these two. We're gonna press play. We're gonna cl click the play, close. As you can see, it opens um, the window every time you press play. And every time you place close, it closes the window. Same with settings. We press settings. We see the window, we press save, and it closes. All right, that's basically the most basic way of um, creating windows, um, or like pop-up windows in main menu or the UI, whichever way you want to do. But we are talking about the main menu. All right, and it works. The next thing we're going to do is we're not really going to go to much in depth of the settings window today. Um, I'm gonna do the kind of tutorial more into it tomorrow. But we are going to work a little bit with um, the play window and a tiny bit of settings. So let's enable the play window. And in this window, we say we, we have like one or two levels, right? Um, that we wanna load. What we are going to do is we're gonna Select the play window game object in our hierarchy. 
we are going to create UI image property. All right. And since it's white, we can actually see it because it's on the white background already. So let's change the color to, it doesn't really matter. This gray works for me. And from here, let's say, let's call it level one. And we are going to click the anchors, uh, shift and alt. When I select the left one in the middle, we're going to adjust the X axis to something like, actually, never mind. Let's do, go, let's go to the center like it was. And from here, we can move the X axis to say negative 80. Okay. Then we are going to duplicate the level one and call it level two. And instead of negative 80, we can do 80 instead. So it's going to be completely opposite of this, right? So we have these two, I guess, imaginary levels for now, just images for now. Okay. What we're going to do next is we're going to click to add component, uh, maybe outline because why not to both of them. And we're going to select back to level one, or actually we can select both of them and add the component and we're going to type button just to make sure we have a button script attached to this. All right. Because we will use this as a button um, to load the level we want. In the future, we can um, add images or textures representing a level, but since it's a basic, we don't really need to do that for now. Okay. So we have these two buttons that we're going to use to load levels. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to open um, the script. We already have a property um, string for the load level. And we are going to, for now, we're just going to leave this as is. Just going to add one and create public string load level two. <clears throat> okay, now we have two properties for two different levels we are going to load. Okay, over here, we're going to go back to scenes. We're going to rename this to level one. We're going to duplicate it. Actually, I kind of forgot how to duplicate it unless we're going to go to the show folder. We can just copy and paste, rename it from here. It's just faster this way. We're going to open the level two. We're going to add it to our projects, make sure it can, lo can be loaded. But we're going to make it, the background look a little different for now just so we can differentiate. We're going to go back to main menu. Okay. Uh, so we have these two buttons, all right, to load different levels. We're going to go back to the coding part, uh, to the main script, uh, main menu script. And what we're going to do is we're going to do public void, load level one, and public void load level two. From here, what we're going to do is going to say application load level. As I said, it was this was in practical way, but this is the easiest for now. Um, that's what we're going to use, and we're going to say load level one. From here, we're going to say application, load level, load level 2. Actually, I'm going to do this, fix some issues. Um, actually, since we're using the methods and strings, we should probably call it some, something different, all right? And what we can say is, Play level one, play level two, it's 
so we're just replacing this for now and this is a good way to call things differently so you're not going to get confused whether you want to call a method or use a string okay we're going to save the script go back to um, unity we're going to click to uh, menu manager and in this tabs we're going to put level of one for level one did i fuck up my bad yep i misspelled that we're going to let the script update and here we're going to do level two now we're going to select both buttons we're going to press split plus sign um, add the menu manager go to level one menu script load level one right as we have a um, methods in our string and we're going to do level two we're going to do main menu script low level two now we're going to dis disable this and we're going to test it press play settings works as you can see both buttons active i'm going to close this to make sure it works and it does so if we're going to press here level one should load and it did we're going to restart this and test the second level and as you can see level two works too this is kind of the basics of having pop-up windows and buttons on them now that we have a basic play play window for this two we're going to move to settings window um, in the settings window we're going to do just the very basic um, as far as the volume of the sound of the background music goes what we will need to do is we're going to create a new game object called sound library or you can call it just background music and we will need to attach um, the sound that can play okay uh, we're gonna call the new folder sounds actually as I just remembered I disabled my recording um, of my Camtasia that's not recording the sounds from the background except the mic because I'm listening to music and I don't want to have a copyright well that's a little shitty and the only reason the only way I can fix this issue is to restart the Camtasia and you know what it's actually been already 17 minutes and we are kind of already more into this than we should have I will say this is going to be the end um, for this tutorial and tomorrow actually we're gonna go way more in depth of creating a settings value so tomorrow when I make another tutorial we're gonna have a resolution of the screen change like a through the drop down as well as the sound and possibly something else but yep that should be it for today guys I hope you enjoyed if you have any questions leave it down in comments and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.